Hello basketball coaches, my name is Alan from Alice Basketball Training and today I'm going to give you some of my top 5 screen and roll basketball drills that you can run with your team either before a game, in a practice, or in a tryout. These are going to help your team so much, so let's get down to the clipboard and let's check these out. Okay, so first off, that referee standing there is the coach. He is a, uh, I guess you could say a cross-dressing coach because he is a referee. He is on the dark side. But anyways, player one is going to pass, player one read the ball. And he's going to go and screen on the coach. The coach is then going to say pop or roll, which means when player one uses him as a screen, player one is going to either pop or he's going to roll towards the basket. That way... You, as a coach, are able to teach your team not just the screen and roll, but also communication. So, what I mean by that is, can player one listen? Will he listen? Does he hear what you're saying when you are on the court? So, if player one rolls, he is going to take a shot. Whether he rolls or when he, whether he pops, it doesn't matter. Player one and both of these player ones will go get the ball. And then, after that, they're going to be switching lines. And then we're going to be going again with more players. This is a great drill to run before a game, but also in practice as well as kind of a quick warm-up. Now in this next play, what we're going to be having is player two. He is going to be setting a screen for player two. And then player two blue is going to use that screen. Player two red, red is going to roll towards the basket. We are going to have player two blue passing to two red. Player 5 is going to be going down towards the baseline, and this is when player 2 is going to pass out for that shot. Now, from there, what's going to happen is player two, the two player 2s are going to be boxing each other out so that they get the rebound from player 5. Once that's up, whoever gets that rebound needs to go up really quickly for a shot. And then going from there, what we're going to be doing is having player 5, he is going to be going around towards this line. Player 2 is going to be going back in the back of this line. And player 2 blue is going to be going in the back of that line. And we're going to keep on rotating through this line just like that. This is a great drill to run, not just for the screen and roll. We're learning how the screen and roll can work. We're also learning how the, that can also collapse the defense so that now you can pass the ball out. And then we're also teaching our players how to rebound and take three-point shots or mid-range shots or even just in general farther shots. This is a great drill overall to run. So in this next drill, we're going to have player two. He's going to be passing out to player four. He's going to be then posting up. We can have our coach there if you'd like. Posting up for two seconds. We are then going to have player two. He is going to pop out after that wait for two seconds and posting up. Again, now we're teaching our whole team how to post up. And then he's going to set a screen for player four. Player uh, Coach is going to get out of the way. Player 4 is going to use that screen. Player 2 is then going to roll towards the net. And that's going to end in a layup. Now, whoever started in this line is going to go in the back of this line. Player 4 is going to go in the back of that line. And then we're going to continue through where now player 2 passes out to player 3. He's going to post up the coach for a second. And then he's going to pop out, set the screen and roll get that layup, and then, then continue through this drill over and over again. A nice quick drill that's teaching post moves to, or posting up to everyone on the team, and then wing screen and rolls along the baseline. Again, this is going to be another low post drill as well. So in this fourth drill, what we're going to be having is the player down low, he's going to be posting up the coach for two to three seconds. Coach is going to get out of the way. Player 5 is then going to pop out with his hand up asking for the ball. So when he's popping out, he wants to be having his hand up saying, ball, 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 and he's not going to receive it. Then he's going to be stopping and cutting back up to then set a screen for Player 2. Player 2 is going to use that screen. Player 5 is going to roll off that screen, and he's going to receive that ball from Player 2 and go in for a layup. Now that's our fourth drill. I've got one more drill I know you're going to absolutely love, but really quickly, one thing that you may see in these drills are basically everything that we are going to be doing in game so any movements that you do in game whether it be your plays you can break down your plays and run screen and roll drills off of them you don't necessarily have to use these drills but 
These are just an idea and basically and a reason why I like screen and roll drills. is because, let's say you're running a 3-out, 2-in offense or a 4-out offense or a 5-out, whatever it may be. You can run drills that incorporate parts of your plays in your drills like I am right here. So that now your team, when they get on the court, they know, oh, I just got rid of the ball. I need to move. I need to do this. I need to do that. Everything like that. Let's get down and I'll show you the fifth play. I mean, fifth drill. Whoops. Okay, so in this first drill, we're going to have four players down low. We're going to have three players on this side. One player here, one player here, one player here. And basically what we are doing is this. We're going to be having these four players boxing out. Player five is just going to start by taking a shot. Let's say player one gets the ball. He's going to outlet the ball to player five. And he's going to follow his pass and go in the back of this line. Next, what we're going to be doing is having player 5, he's going to be coming down. Player 5 blue is going to pass the player 2. And player 5 is going to be cutting across and setting a screen for player 3. Okay, so in this last drill I'm going to show you, we're going to have player 5 take the shot. Let's say player 4 here gets that ball. Player 5 is going to be staying out there right now. Player 4 is going to outlet to player 5, he's going to follow his pass out. At this point, we're going to have player 5 passing to player 2. And then we're going to be having player 3 setting a screen down for player 5. Player 5 is going to be popping up. And player 2 is going to be passing player 5 the ball for that shot. Now those three players are going to be rebounding his shot. Let's say player 1 gets it. What's going to happen now is player 2 and 5 are going to be following their, sh their pass. Player 5 is going to be following his pass as well. Player 3 is going to be coming up. And then player 1 is going to be outletting to player 4. And we're going to continue to pass that ball around. So again, screen, pop, pass, shot. Now he's going to be popping out. We're now going to be having a follow, a follow, a, f uh, a rebounder. And then he's going to be there. And we're going to be continuing through just like that. So this is a great drill to run if you need to teach your team how to, how to rebound an outlet, how to pass the ball around the perimeter, and also move off ball to set screens for the away player so that the away player can get an open three-point shot. Now, I hope that these drills help your team win more games. If they do, let us know in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you if you have any ideas for videos for the future. Again, let us know. I would love to make a video for you. And I'll see you guys again to later on today for a another basketball training video.